On this episode of Lapeef, let's talk. It's improbable. It's unknowable. That being said, mankind have always understood women's nature. See, more than we, we don't need to understand women. We just stop needing to forget who they are, that mm -hmm. their nature. We keep trying to treat women outside of their nature. Go back to the epic of, epic of Gilgamesh. Throughout written history, back all the way back to where Beowulf was written, men have been talking about the nature of women. Your, your Bible, the Garden mm -hmm. of Eden. The nature of women has been unmute, is unchanged. It's fleeting. Mm -hmm. That's why women are synonymous with being the feline or a cat. Men have been synonymous with being a canine or a dog. One is loyal, straightforward, know what it's going to do. Anybody ever try to walk a cat? It's really <laughs> impossible. So now in a state of nature, absolutely not. It is more incumbent for females to understand the men because without us, you die. Just joining in. Welcome to our people. Let's talk. Moving on to our next topic, which is men do not have to understand women. Men <laughs> do not have to understand women. <laughs> um, I, based on personal experiences, I'm always hearing women always say that you don't understand me. You don't understand me. And um, I, I thought about this topic and I'm like, men. Men do not, in, in most instances, men do not have to understand women. I want to kind of get you guys' thoughts about it. I'm going to start with you, uh, Courtney. Men do not have to understand women. What are your thoughts? Um, I agree. I think what men need to do is understand their vision and their goal and focus on that. Um, that's always what I believe, and I stand wholeheartedly on that. Hell, sometimes I don't hell, understand myself being a woman because I'm emotional. There's been occasions where I just sit and feel like crying. And I'm like, what? Is, why am I crying? And I don't know. So sometimes I don't even understand myself because I'm an emotional being. I go up and down sometimes depending on the time of the month. I mean, that's just kind of what it is. So I think before men are trying to understand women, they need to understand themselves first. Get that down. Get your vision down. Make your empire. The women will come. And then if you choose to marry a woman and want to understand what she likes and this and, you know, I think that's great, but just understanding a woman and that being your primary focus, I don't think it should be. Chicago Rilla, men do not have to understand women. Your thoughts? Yeah, so I think, um, I absolutely think that a man should be focused on his purpose. A man should be leading. He should be prophet, priest, and king of self first, then in his home, then in his neighborhood, in his community, so on and so forth. Um, but as a father, as someone that's in a long-term relationship, as a, as a, as a brother, as a son, uh, that's raised around women, I don't see why we wouldn't have to understand women. I don't think it should be our primary focus. Good luck. I'm sorry. I said good luck. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you. um, I don't think it needs to be our primary focus, but I think it helps us uh, to maneuver. It helps me to understand uh, why women do certain things, um, how it, it how it doesn't change how I move. Right. Because what I do is based on my purpose and what I find value in personally. Um, I, don't, I don't understand. Okay, what's the, what's the no, somebody in the comments said something. It was funny. I wasn't laughing at y'all. Cool. I'm I'm down with what you're saying. Okay, Chicago. cool. Um, well, all right, go ahead, Kay. While you speaking, and Kevin, I'm gonna come yeah. to you next. Okay. Kay, men do not have to understand women. What are your thoughts? Um, it depends on the man, I guess, and what he's trying to do. I guess it, everyone's not the same. Um, it depends if you're trying to have a if depending on your position in life, I guess you could say, because some men, let's say you're a multi-billionaire, and I know that a lot of y'all subscribe to this same thought process. Uh, you don't have to understand women. They're just going to be there. But if you're not, you might have to do a little extra work as it relates to figuring out what women like or want. If what? you're trying to be successful, if you're trying to be successful, um, in relationships with women, if you just say, I don't want to understand women and I'm just not going to, I mean, I guess it depends on what you're doing. 
if you're if you're working towards some goal I'm in life over, overall overall men do not have to understand women i'm not talking about scenarios overall overall um i don't know i think men and women should have some understanding of each other it's a symbiotic relationship so there should be some understanding there uh overall i'll, I'll put it simply like that if we're not talking scenarios can i can i ask why why, why would you think that i that i need to like pay attention and understand understand you you don't and have JR, to pay I'm, attention. I'm, I'm assuming i'm assuming this is based off of relationships right um relationship but yeah 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 like relationships um, anton you don't have to pay attention to and understand me you have to do that with your wife we just no, no, talking no, about you what i'm saying mm -hmm. i'm talking about Okay, so to support your position, I'm asking a follow-up question. The follow-up question is, because you framed it in a way that it depends on the man and so on and so forth and what it is that they're looking for and all of that. And I'm so I'm asking you as a follow-up question to what you said, why do you feel, and I'm placing myself as an example in, in, in your narrative, why do you feel as though I would have to understand you? Um, if we're having a conversation and we want it to be productive in terms of me and you specifically, uh, I think it would be good to understand each other and where we're coming from. If we're trying to move forward with a plan or something that we have, like, let's say me and you want to work together on a nonprofit or whatever. We should no, we're talking about relationships. That's why mm -hmm. I asked for, to, for the, like for the clarification before I even ask the question. Are you talking about like romantic relationships? Yeah. Okay. So again, have a hard time asking the question. So again, um, as it relates to romantic relationships, if hypothetically me and you were in a romantic relationship, if that's what you're asking, uh, mm -hmm. you should have some understanding of me and I should have some understanding of you so that it could work out and we could be on the same page and cooperatively working together towards common goals. Let me ask a question. Kay, do you think women understand men? No, not fully. Uh. Uh. So, if you think men need to understand women, but you're saying women don't understand men, do you don't you think that's a contradiction? No, because I don't think women understand men fully, and I don't think men understand women fully. I think there's work that needs to be done, and that's why I gave my answer that it depends on the situation. Um, if I'm in a personal, like a relationship with someone, let's say my boyfriend or I'm married or whatever we should be working towards gaining an understanding of each other specifically. Now, I don't expect any man to understand women as a whole, nor do I expect any woman to understand all men as a whole. That's where these personal relationships come in. And I think that's why that's important. And that's where that makes sense. Like, I don't even think it makes, I don't, why would, you don't need to understand all men. Can I, can I jump in here quick? Cause I got to yeah, go ahead, Kev. Go ahead, Kev. Okay, so in general, here's the way I'm, I'm going to say this. That women don't understand themselves. So okay. it's <laughs> impossible for men to understand women who don't understand themselves. It's improbable. It's unknowable. That being said, men kind of always understood women's nature. See, more than we, we don't need to understand women. We just stop needing to forget who they are, that mm -hmm. their nature. We keep trying to treat women outside of their nature. Go back to the epic, epic of Gilgamesh. Throughout written history, back all the way back to where Beowulf was written, men have been talking about the nature of women. Your, your Bible, the Garden mm -hmm. of Eden. The nature of women has been unmute is unchanged. It's fleeting. Mm -hmm. That's why women are synonymous with being the feline or a cat. Men have been synonymous with being a canine or a dog. One is loyal, straightforward, know what it's gonna do. Anybody ever, anybody ever try to walk a cat? It's really <laughs> impossible. So now in a state of nature, absolutely not. It is more incumbent for females to understand the men because without us, you die. That's all you need to know. Without us, you die. Without you, we just don't reproduce. We live. So mm -hmm. it's more incumbent upon you to understand us. But because mankind has forgotten woman's nature and many men have elevated women to the point of men and we've 
throw trusted logic and reason and all these things on women that typically is not in their nature initially. It exists, but it's not in their nature initially. That's why so many men are confused. There was an ep there was a line that Jack Nicholson quoted. A woman said, "How do you write women so well?" He said, "I think of a man, and I remove accountability and uh, consequence and reason, or accountability and reason." And the woman just looked there. How do you, so I don't think that anybody can say that I don't understand women having show night after night after night after night. But more than anything else, I understand nature. We can we can sympathize. We can understand. I feel bad for some of these women, but then I understand that you're not held to the same standard as I am. All the men on this panel, if we try to understand you, while we're doing that, Atlas would shrug, the world would fall. We'd all die. We don't have time mm -hmm. to do it. We got the world to run. You're awesome. I appreciate you, Kev. You are awesome. Yeah, appreciate you. Awesome. Good night, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Thank yeah, you. Appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boop, boop, boop. Great man. <laughs> man is great. That's my guy. That That's is a guy. great man. That's my guy. Jeez. Look at yeah. Kay. Look at Kay. Kay don't like that. Kay it's, don't like that. Yeah, she like it, it's all facts. Listen, y'all. Look, this is our first time all being face to face. I know Jr. We've talked, you know, voice to voice. Chicago Rilla. You know, we go back and forth, but like. Please stop assigning emotions and thoughts to me. You don't know me at all. <laughs> when, who assigned anything to you? <laughs> um, you know, talking about I don't like you made that. A face. I, I, said, I, I said, I said, like you made a face. So I'm trying to figure I, out why you made the face. So you could just ask me. I'm right here. Oh, you <laughs> So emotional. You are, like this is not hey, a man, K is a trip, man. Yeah. Like, this this is a mess, bro. It's a mess, bro. K is my favorite cyber friend. Cause she she expects she hold on, we we on a visual show, but she expects us to ignore the visual cues and signs that she's illustrating as we's having a conversation, and then she wants us to ignore it and just ask her general questions based off of what? Again, I, I, I didn't say I that. Care. I didn't say that. I said, um, I'm right here care. because while we are on a visual show, we're also on an auditory show and we can hear each other. So if you have a question to ask me, you can just ask it. Mm. What are we doing, Jay? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs>